your specific company stand in terms of the ESG goals that have now cropped up as another metric used by investment funds as well as regulatory bodies, and now with the European Union developing its own metric for the region, that will hold companies who are in stock exchanges in those countries also accountable. So what do you think about that development? Another way of measuring ESG. It's interesting because I sit, tend to sit on smaller company boards, as you mentioned. And so when you're a company with, you know, half a million or a billion revenue uh, and you, or a billion stock market cap, there's limits to what you can do. And it's also hard to figure out what you should do. So if I use an example of Tyro Payments in Australia, which is a payment fintech, and I believe that we supply 20 million meters of paper receipts every year. You know, the stuff you get when you buy something, which is disappearing and happy to see most of the stuff I've paid for here in Dubai, I have only gotten an e-receipt. But if you think about around the world, all the times that we're still getting paper receipts, and that's something that we are involved with. So we're trying to encourage merchants to move to e-receipts. So You've what? just described how your strategy is integrated with your services and the business. And the problem with many companies is they say, okay, let us look at our sustainability strategy, and they separate it. So yeah. what you have just done Good. is... Yeah. Fantastic, because you said, I'm giving my services, let me look internally and say how I can make them impactful to society.